Are you listening to slowed down speech in Spanish? Well, no matter how much you listen that way, it won't help you much understanding something like... ¿Y cómo le va a tu equipo esta temporada? Ah, sí. Qué bueno que preguntas. A David no tinto le va muy bien. En el medio Junior Moreno es el quinto posición a Villanguel de Herrera y Tomás Rincón actúan como interiores. Adelante dos extremos que en esta copa han alternado entre varios jugadores, se perfilan entre Murillo y Machis como titulares y Salomón Rondón, el referente. Bien. Soy Juan de Spring Spanish and here is what you should do instead. Parte 1. ¿Por qué? You'll notice we don't slow down speech in our videos, in full Spanish videos or in our role plays parts, aun cuando nos lo piden mucho. Y eso es totalmente a propósito. Razón 1. No tiene sentido y no ayuda realmente al estudiante. Unfortunately, real language is not that polished, especially during casual conversations. In real life situations, People don't pronounce full words. They connect words and they use slang and interjections. So without the proper practice, when you find yourself in a conversation with a native speaker at real life speed, vas a estar completamente perdido. Razón 2. You need to be exposed to natural speed to really get better and practice your listening comprehension skills. If you listen enough to Spanish at normal speed, your brain and ear gets used to it y luego de un tiempo vas a entender. Parte 2. What can you do instead? Well, comprehensible input. Asegúrate de que lo que escuchas no es tan complicado. If you don't understand anything, then it's not the right material for you. Start off easier at the beginning. First, beginner's material and then advance step by step. Every week, a bit more difficult. By the way, that's exactly how our Spring Spanish Academy courses are built. Link in the description. Okay, Juan, but I simply don't understand anything. Here's a trick to make sure you understand these native speakers even when they speak quickly. Use transcripts so you can listen and read along at the same time. Por eso, todos nuestros videos tienen subtítulos y traducciones en inglés también. It may not look like it at first sight, but this is actually a ton of work for us. All for free, just for you. Listen to sentences, dialogues, or videos in Spanish several times. Every time you listen to it, you catch something else and something you haven't heard or understood the first time. And this way, step by step, you understand more. De esta manera, progresas masivamente. Even though we know the best way to learn is through chunks, if you struggle too much with understanding a certain word, get a translation. Una que otra vez no hace daño. It helps you to make content comprehensible when it hasn't been before. So while we're not slowing down speech, we are still here to help. What are we doing is leaving breaks after a sentence is done or after one of the speakers is done. Do you like that? Would you like us to do more of that? Déjanos un comentario. En nuestro canal encontrarás muchos videos para principiantes y algunos para estudiantes avanzados. Mientras estoy grabando este video, ya tenemos más de 250 videos. So, if you only understand a fraction of the fully Spanish videos or the role plays, they might not be the right material for you. But if you feel like being challenged, then follow these steps to learn with them. Parte 3. ¿Cómo aprender con nuestros videos de Spring Spanish? Paso 1. Just listen without reading. If you still don't understand most of it, then paso 2. Listen with reading the Spanish subtitles. If you still don't understand most of it, then paso 3. Listen with reading the English subtitles. And paso 4. Repeat this process until you understand everything. 
important here. You don't need to understand every single word and why it is where it is. You just need to understand what's being said because you can't translate the language word for word. It will take you some time to get through a video, but I guarantee you that you will feel amazing after fully understanding a video you have not understood at all before. Y vas a aprender muchísimo haciéndolo. This is the way all of our videos are set up. You always get subtitles in both languages. In the inner circle, you also get flashcards for each lesson to study the chunks and also a transcript. Te lo vas a perder. Link in the description. Okay, quick summary. Listen to normal speed Spanish. Use transcripts and subtitles too. It's a magical feeling if you listen to a podcast, an interview, a speech, or a recorded dialogue for the first time and you don't understand anything. But then you work with a transcript and listen repeatedly to the same audio and all of a sudden it just clicks and you understand. This will happen to you too if you follow this advice. So you should see our videos that you don't understand as a challenge, not as a hurdle. Are you ready to listen to Spanish on full speed and make big strides with your Spanish skills? It's time to watch our fully Spanish videos with subtitles in English and Spanish that will help you to massively improve your listening comprehension skills while watching fun videos. Click here and start with lesson number one.